What is up, what ifers? Welcome back to the channel. Today you're going to see computer chips in the sun, a 4.8 scale earthquake in New York, and the Statue of Liberty gets struck by lightning. <laughs> so you're going to want to stay locked in, because you ain't going to believe this. It's the end of the world as we know it, and I don't know if I'm feeling fine. For those of you in the know, the solar eclipse is happening and conspiracy theorists are saying that it might trigger some earthquakes. What's that? Oh, earthquakes in New York. <laughs> That's, ignore that. Also, NASA decided that they wanted to declare war on the moon by firing test rockets into the moon's shadow at what, what? during the eclipse. Yeah, they're doing it during the eclipse. Okay, what's the name of this project? I'm sure it has some benevolent purpose or whatever oh it's based off of the demon serpent god of the old world <sighs> excellent well i'm sure nasa's honest you know it's not like they're trying to do any deception nasa means to deceive in hebrew oh that that's great in other news uh cern you know the people who are trying to recreate the conditions at the big bang and may or may not create a black hole or rip open the fabric of space and time and send us into an alternate universe well it turns out they're getting in on this solar eclipse action too because they're firing up on the time of the solar eclipse but again i'm sure that they have some benevolent purpose and there's nothing what the god of shiva what what is that there's a statue in cern of the god of shiva <laughs> I'm sure it means the goddess of peace and the harmony. The destroyer of worlds. That's what it represents. Okay, excellent. Where is this located? Geneva, Switzerland. You know, there's nothing weird about Geneva, Switzerland. What's that? It's at the throne of Satan? Come on! <laughs> All right, you know, well, in good news, it seems like things in Israel and Palestine are calming down finally. What's that? Yeah, I'm aware of the red heifers. Uh-huh. Yeah, you, they need to sacrifice the red heifers in order to rebuild the third temple. Yeah. Uh, oh, that that's happening this month? What, what's that? <laughs> that's crazy. Wait, you're saying that the third temple needs to be rebuilt in order for the Antichrist to walk out and declare himself God? And that's why they're they're sacrificing the heifers. Ah! Let me get this straight. So they say that NASA is launching these rockets up to the shadow to help CERN create this portal that will ultimately open the doors for Satan to come in and declare himself God. Right? Yeah. I can't wait till April the eighth. I'm sorry. What? It's not over yet because we've got the eclipse earthquake coming up on Monday. As Deborah Ross was telling us, it's going to be transformed. Huh? Maybe, maybe just take the day off just to be on the safe side. So they laughing about this. Or could they have been making a mockery of the people who says there's going to be an earthquake that is going to transform things for the path of totality? I don't know what y'all think, because I'm definitely in the path of totality. So, yeah, I'm in Western Tennessee, so definitely in, in the path of totality. And if 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 the if the good lord is willing and the creek don't rise i have a video for y'all after it's all said and done and i don't think the creek is gonna rise and i think the good lord is willing for those of you who've been keeping up with the eclipse and everything that has to do with the eclipse you might want to watch this guess what a friend of mine woke up today with holes all over her yard like this and she went to poke around to see what was going on and what was causing these holes and guess what she found y'all our good old friend the locust. Yes, a locust. So they're already starting, guys. What is going on? Shouldn't be arriving this early, should they? If this is a sign of what's to come, y'all, I don't even know. Maybe some of these things that are being said about the eclipse might be true. They may not be. I don't know, but I really didn't think that this was going to be possible this early. It's the 1st of April. And no, this is not an April Fool's joke. 
She said it looked like somebody just flew over her house and just dropped them all off in the yard. There's that many of them. And she's in my area in Southeast Missouri. Do y'all have any ideas? Like, somebody comment, let me know what's going on because, what? Come on now, locusts are already appearing. This is crazy, this is crazy, this is crazy. I, I have a theory. I think that the locusts are, the locusts are actually appearing because of the, the constant earthquakes that are back to back because you know they say that there are constant earthquakes at the fault line right so if you don't know what the fault line is go look it up but there are constant earthquakes at the fault line and the fault line runs i think runs similar to the path of the uh total eclipse so with all that rumbling underground of course of course they're gonna ha- hatch early the, the earthquakes have started early so i mean you know I really believe that the tectonic plates are moving. I believe that they're shifting. So, you know, this could either end in a disaster or it could be the start of something great. But we won't know until at April 8th or after April 8th. But what y'all think? People are talking about the eclipse, but they're not talking about this. The sun and the moon are not aligned on April 8th. They Those are, are facts. Pisces. Right now, if you go to your Skyview app and you push forward to april 8th plug it in it will show you that the sun and the moon are in pisces they are not aligned they are sitting beside each other but they are not aligned how is that possible because the sun and the moon have been out of place since back in september 2023 i've been doing these videos telling you that the sun is not where it should be people are telling me it's the calendar the calendar's off don't worry about it it's where the sun is in the sky that's Mm. different it's not where it should mm. be. This eclipse is showing you. If the sun is not where it's supposed to be, that would in fact prove the Ptolemy model of the solar system, which states that we, the earth, is stationary and the sun revolves around us. It ain't too far-fetched. That I am telling you the truth. Because if we see an eclipse on April 8th, how is that possible? If the sun and the moon are in Pisces, it can't be an Aries eclipse, right? If the sun is in Pisces and if the sun and the moon are not aligned, they have. Wait, am I tripping or does she have slits in her eyes? I might be tripping, but those look like slits. Aligned in order for you to see an eclipse, correct? So I don't have to be a fucking astrophysicist to understand this and neither do you i'm trying to get this out to as many people as i can please share this because i mean this is just a no-brainer these these heavenly bodies are changing they are not where they should be and they damn sure will not show you an eclipse in the sky if they are not aligned that's facts i actually have that app she's talking about sky view on my app, on my phone and i have another one called sky tonight and that one there is a little more sophisticated because you can type in um certain star constellations and it'll help you find it it's for like you know uh stargazing and stuff like that but if y'all can see that i hope y'all can see it but yeah those apps right there and i have a satellite tracker too and i just like to i like to track track the satellites because i like to get up early in the mornings well, at least on my time, uh, in my time zone. And I like to see the uh, ISS flow, you no know, fly by. But other than that, though, man, I mean, it's worth looking up, man. I'm talking about looking up, actually looking up. It's worth it because you never know what you might see, man. You know, I haven't been as lucky to see all the stuff that I see on TikTok, but one day, and my one day may be April the 8th. So I'm just saying, but she's right. The sun and the moon is not aligned. Actually, there are other planets lining up in the, in the solar system right now. So, I mean, you know, it's crazy, man. If this doesn't go viral and this isn't truth in plain sight, I, I don't know what is. But TikTok will suppress this. So don't worry. For the, so for the ones who do, you're welcome. The three body problem. You'll notice that this video came out three years ago and has stumped astronomers to this day. When we're talking about the gravitational force in a solar system or celestial system, when you have two, they can equate with the equations how the gravitational force keeps the two planets in orbit, with the one sun being the center of gravity. 
Hold on, hold on. But when you add a third system, everything gets chaotic. That's what the three body problem showed y'all in plain sight. That the solar system model is bullshit. It solved disclosure, but a lot of y'all were entertained and worried about the aliens and all the dumb shit and it flew over a lot of y'all heads. I'm gonna show you a snippet of this video. And yes, all you Globers, astronomers cannot solve this problem to this day. Go watch this, go watch this TED talk. Just because they can't solve it does not mean that the solar system doesn't exist. Bro, we look up at the solar system all day, every day. Maybe the way the solar system work is what they got wrong. It's not complete bull crap. Maybe the ideology that they have of the solar system is complete bull crap. But the ideology of an actual solar system isn't because if that was the case solar panels wouldn't even exist stuff like that wouldn't even exist you have to have solar energy to even use a solar panel or to have anything solar so the the whole point of a solar system it can't be bull crap but i'm not even finna go there but let's continue and they've been trying to tell you softly that you live on a holographic plane and not a flat or Whoa. Velocity, then equations of motion. However, there's a trick. Consider the relative position and velocity of the two bodies with respect to the center of gravity of the system. This reduces the number of unknowns and leaves us with a solvable system. With three or more orbiting objects in the picture, everything gets messier. Even with the same mathematical trick of considering relative motions, we're left with more unknowns than equations describing them. There are simply too many variables for this system of equations to be untangled into a general solution. And you believe that? But y'all think we have- But if you go look at the Ptolemy model and there's a video showing you exactly how things move in the solar system on the Ptolemy model. And I think that model explains it more so than the current model we have now. Just people just leave out the Ptolemy model though. And it's Ptolemy, like you don't really pronounce the P. Yeah, so don't be saying, he's saying it wrong. No, I'm not, I'm saying it correct. So yeah, but that would explain that though, bro. The the the, the solar system is so intricately intricately built by, by the most high that you're not supposed to be able to explain it. Come on, man. But it's not hard to look up and see other round planets and say that you're on a round one. Just because you don't understand how you can be on a round planet and how water stays on a round planet doesn't mean that it's not round. That's just, just idiotic to even think anything else. But I digress. Let's keep going. They can't figure out three, but we have nine. And being hurled at 6,600 6, miles an hour. <laughs> he definitely not three explaining that correctly. Soft disclosure, guys. Not entertainment for you to focus on aliens, but to tell you that you do not live in a solar system and it's impossible. Literally, too many unknown variables. So again, nah, they always tell you to your face. A lot of y'all just, eh, I just gotta go to work tomorrow. <laughs> you ever wonder why? Someone who's doing fucking SpaceX is also doing this. Again, a holographic light matrix. Why would else he be tapping into something like this? To trap you in the simulation. I present to you the abomination of desolation, aka hell. But hey, what do I know? What conspiracy? Yeah. I literally have nothing else to say. Has anyone else noticed that there's been a strange amount of reports and events leading up to this solar eclipse on April 8th? I already made a couple of videos about CERN and how they're powering up their large hydrogen collider and CERN is planning on smashing together the particles on the same day as the solar eclipse, which is April 8th. But that's not all. On April 3rd, Taiwan was hit with a 7.7 .7 magnitude earthquake, which is the strongest earthquake they've seen in 25 years. Over in New York, they were hit with a 4.8 magnitude earthquake, which they're reporting was one of the strongest in state history. This earthquake also hit New Jersey and the tremors could be felt all the way in Pennsylvania. Last week, it was reported that Russian warships entered the Red Sea, which many people took as an implication that tensions were rising. It was then reported on April 4th that nuclear submarines began firing missiles during training, so maybe they're onto something. 
And to top it all off, there's apparently going to be an estimated 1 trillion cicadas hatching all over the US starting this month in April. They'll be primarily located in the Midwest and Southwest regions of the US and it's the first time we've seen multiple species hatch at the same time since 1803. It's gonna be a wild one y'all, it's gonna be a wild one. <laughs> hey it's Glamham and I noticed a lot of activity today on my earthquake layer. You don't often see the big red radiating circle so when I see this I know this is a very significant earthquake and if we look at the map there is a lot of earthquakes I'm staring at this every day looking at this look at all that earthquake activity now we can see by the orange dots this is a fault line so many people sometimes think oh is this man-made well it's following a fault line so this would be the tectonic plates moving but that is a tremendous amount of activity there yes sir and if we go over here on my map we can read down the details of it but this big circle we're seeing here 6.9 earthquake look at all these look at all these earthquakes so hopefully people are safe out there and that's crazy and australia's oceans is getting most of it but the tectonic plates are moving man things are changing on this planet and that's why all of these what they call them black swan events are happening and these weather anomalies and stuff because the, the earth is going through a cleanse it's going through a change man so yeah man we're witnessing something that the ancients have only witnessed man and it's you can either accept it as being beautiful or you can be frightened by it. Choice is yours. When was the last time you saw a hailstorm occurring smack dab in a desert? When was the last time a state of emergency was declared for an event? A full eight days in advance. Niagara Falls has declared a state of emergency. But get this, it's for something that's going to happen in the future. And if I wasn't strange enough, did you know the eclipse will take place on the same day as the Egyptian three days of darkness, which is one of the nine plagues on Egypt from the Bible? It is not just any eclipse like the ones we have seen before as it will be on the same day as the three days of darkness in Egypt. Let me talk to him! What are the odds that the eclipse will pass over eight towns called Nineveh? Isn't that the place God sent Jonah to call his people into repentance? What if God is giving us an opportunity to repent? What if God... Let's look at that again. ...people into repentance? Yeah. New York, Missouri, uh, what's that? Ohio, Texas, Virginia, Pennsylvania, Nova Scotia, and Indiana. Hmm. Well, that would that would in fact prove that the, the United States is the holy is the holy land, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. What if God is giving us an opportunity to repent and get right with him or risk being swallowed up like Jonah did? Swallowed up. But ready or not, it has begun. And it's going to be biblical. It's going to be biblical. <laughs> so it says something passed by the moon. Oh, that's the ISS, man. Yeah, that's how fast that it flies by. It flies by that fast. That's exactly what that is. Now, if he had been panning his camera following that object, but it happened so fast, he probably couldn't. But it, but because that the camera doesn't have a wide angle lens, like you can't see much of the sky. Only thing you can see is what it's pointing at. And how do we know that this, this person didn't use the same app that I use called Satellite Tracker, knew when the ISS was gonna pass by, recorded it, and then using it, to spark and get views on TikTok. 
people do strange things these days. So I don't know, man. What y'all think? You think America not gonna get a taste of this medicine? They about to. And then it's crazy because this solar eclipse that's getting ready to happen on April 8th, a big part of this solar eclipse is America, it's Mexico. It's doing an X over us. X mark the motherfucking spot. You reap what you sow, America. Fact. You reap what you sow. I don't know what's gonna happen on April 8th, but I know the fact that we are having a, a solar eclipse and they decided to actually use, sir, concerns me. They decided to send missiles or rockets into the air. That concerns me. And I'm not putting those glasses on. I will not be looking at the event. I will be sun glazing, sun gazing, Bex. looking at the sun through my natural eyes, reaping every benefit that comes from sun gazing. The sun is not your enemy, it's theirs. The sun is not your enemy, it's theirs. Just like and for those who don't know how to sun gaze, the only thing you got to do is make sure that you have no shoes on and you standing in the grass so you can be grounded. You never sun gaze with shoes on. You can damage your eyes. That energy needs to pass through your eyes and through your entire body back through the earth so the cycle can continue. But if you obstruct it, then you you could cause damage. So yeah, just just a quick some quick advice for those who don't know. Y'all, I jumped on this trend and now I don't know how to feel. Look at this. Now I took all these pictures today and I just adjusted the lighting a little bit as I went just like they did as the trend I just I turned random things up and down now up until this point I, I was like you know I don't know what I'm doing this for but once I got to this point <laughs> I didn't even know what to think y'all I'm like what 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 in my camera would put a a, a computer chip looking mm, this is crazy like I don't even know what to think no more I've been out here sun gazing, and does, does this not remind y'all of the fake sun that China launched? Red light pattern. So I had to hop on this trend when I saw people adjusting the settings in their cameras, and they started it's all all these crazy things in the sky. And then I'm looking at this tree, and I'm like, okay, this is crazy. The tree y doesn't have it. Yep, I have nothing to say, but for those who know. If you know, you know. I'm the only one that feels like these weird events coming up have to mean something. Not only do we have the weirdness of it being seven years between solar eclipses running across the entire U.S., not only do they go through a bunch of towns called Nineveh and right over the Noah's Ark exhibit, all of these things that symbolize repentance, but there's also going to be a comet that we haven't seen for 60 years visible called the Devil's Comet that looks like a devil. It just, something doesn't feel right. Something doesn't feel right on earth. The weather doesn't feel right. The animals don't seem right. The world doesn't seem right. I really do think Jesus is coming. I think this is it, guys. It feels like there's been an outpouring of evil. It feels like the whole world is unstable. People are acting strange. Animals are acting strange. The weather's strange. The signs in the heavens are strange. Everybody's just on edge. It's like, even if you're not a Christian, you know that this can't go on forever. Everybody can feel that, that this way of life cannot continue the way it's been going for much longer. All the signs are there. The temple's ready to be built. It's all happening. We, we gotta be ready. I'm telling you, he's coming. Everyone knows I'm the furthest thing from a conspiracy theorist. But this is a little weird. The lightning struck the Statue of Liberty's torch yesterday, which isn't news. She's basically a big lightning rod. However, 4.7 earthquake rattled New York and the surrounding areas just the next day. And during the eclipse, NASA is flying a rocket into it, firing a rocket essentially into it, named for a serpent deity. I had to Google this. I thought this was totally fake. 
The deity known as Apep is the great serpent god of chaos. Rockets are named the Apep rockets. Apep mm. appeared in Egyptian mythology as a giant demonic snake who each night attempted to devour the sun. All of this while yesterday, Green Devil Comet flew over, which is generally regarded as a bad omen, lore associated with it. Like I said, I'm not a conspiracy person at all. Do I feel like I'm in the Ghostbusters movie right now? Absolutely. Cue the Marshmallow Man. Everyone knows I'm the furthest thing from a conspiracy theorist, but this is a little weird. The lightning struck... It's funny how all of these things, and I said this in my last video, I said it's funny how all of these things are happening in the U.S. Man, what did y'all do? What in the hell did y'all do? Because now we all got to suffer. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Y'all can't tell me y'all don't see that shit. Look at what the fuck is that in front of the moon? I mean the sun. It looked like a fucking eye. Look. See, it's like that. Boom, dude. Zoom the fuck in, right? Guys, oh my god, watch this. Do I have your attention now? Are you paying attention now? Because a lot of you guys kept saying nothing is going to happen. And what did I say? I said there will be a huge earthquake that breaks the, the, the city into three parts. I told you guys that there will be earthquakes along the path of the eclipse. Nobody believed. What are we hearing today? A 4.8 earthquake happened in New Jersey. But this is just the start of the energy that will transpire on that day. Do I have your attention? If I don't, then maybe you will have to learn the hard way. There's a new map of the United States. If you have not looked at it, Type it in on TikTok, and that's all I will say. I saw that map. Look up the United States new map. But I don't know if it's official. April 8th, 2024 will be the start. There will be an ellipse which breaks stone. Do you hear me? You know what an ellipse does? It breaks stone. I'm out. Well, we shall see, shall we? Brother, New York is having an earthquake. I swear to God, New York is having an earthquake right now. I swear to God, New York is having an earthquake right now. Brother, New York is having an earthquake. I, I know I'm not tripping. Call of Duty is like pushing out all this demonic ass shit. Like they got a thing called Underworld Hell. Just like everything demonic as fuck. <laughs> like what the fuck's that? All right, hold up. Next one down, you got dark rituals. Some other fucking demonic looking shit with these weird ass <laughs> symbols. This and shit. kid though. And for the third pack, we got death rap devil. Some more demonic ass shit. Red fucking eyes, a little weird ass shit. Like I understand maybe one pack, but they're pushing these things out like no other now we got demoness some other it's not fully like crazy but demoness the name alone other little weird symbols this one's not as bad usually i wouldn't care but they're just pushing them out like crazy dude then we got heretic another weird one some weird ass illuminati type looking shit like i yeah them boys over at cod done sold they sold ain't it breaking news new york and now Brazil have both had earthquakes. 
Also, did you see this yesterday with the Statue of Liberty being struck by lightning? Like, check that out. Also, how many times did it strike the same spot? Now, if you're wondering, this is the fault line here. And just so you're aware, this is the strongest earthquake since the 1880s. So you're familiar, the other day we had Taiwan who had earthquake. So does it have anything to do with the solar eclipse about to come in? I really don't know anymore. And I know some of y'all question if solar flares have anything to do with this. And the truth is, I honestly don't know anymore because the sun does not have a gravitational pull on Earth. All it does is supply heat. However, I sit here now and I'm like, hmm, maybe I should change my tune. And maybe Lebanon. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about all of this. Take care. God bless. See, everything a lot of people thought was not true is really changing everybody's tune. You know, a lot of your beliefs are being switched right because then you would have to re-explain everything that you once believed right so that's why i sit back and i watch and i learn things because the earth is gonna tell you whatever you want to know no book can tell you i'm telling you we are witnessing something nobody has ever witnessed in this timeline right now maybe the ancient sale but not anybody here and we just like i said you gotta either take it in stride or you can be afraid it's totally up to you post has shared some chilling photos that were submitted to him by a viewer it goes without saying but what was captured in one of these images has left many viewers disturbed the person who submitted the photos states that the reason they took them was because they felt like they were being watched they were lying in bed when all of a sudden they get the strangest feeling for some reason they can't help but feel that someone is outside their room standing in the doorway and looking at them no one else was inside the house except them feeling very spooked they slowly take out their phone and begin to take various photos of the passageway outside the room what they captured has left them shook these are their photos In the distance, there appears to be a face peeking at the person inside the room. It wasn't until zooming in on the photo that the person who took it saw the mysterious figure. Although pretty creepy, they're somewhat glad that they caught this as it reassures them that they're not losing their mind and that there is in fact something very strange going on inside their house. Now it's worth mentioning that the person who submitted these photos states that he played with the Ouija board prior to this incident and believes it's the reason why strange things are happening. But what do you think? Did this person actually capture something paranormal? Or was something else captured? That yeah, looked like maybe her husband or something. Cause that's a white, white guy with a low haircut. And look. I was outside taking videos of the sun and something really strange happened. And I didn't notice it till I came back in and watched the video again. Now wait for it. So I'm talking about the sun and the reflection. The reflection looks kind of crazy to me. I've never seen it look like a disco ball. I've used the same phone. Earlier today, it looked like a flat surface, not a disco ball. The reflection is what I'm talking about, that green ball. Anyway, so I'm trying to prove that it looks different. Watch this. Watch the sun go down. I mean, it's going down fast. The tree does not move. The clouds are moving, but the tree is, is giving you reference. Look how quickly, look how fast it's going down. Look, watch, watch this. It's just going to disappear. Watch. You're kidding. What? I didn't even notice. But you know what's crazy? That if that was real and the sun was actually going down, why didn't it get dark? If y'all know, get in the comments and let me know. His sexuality. For example, watch how Tupac says all about females. It's very yeah. feminine. Yeah. If you want someone all about it. All right, guys. If you want someone all about it. 
Wow. Wow, man. This Tupac, I don't think I want this. You know, I mean, Tupac, I got him this really great leather vest. He liked leather vests. He had one. I didn't like it. I got him one. It was really great. Uh, Tupac's stylist was a gay man. In fact, he states Tupac had a leather vest already, but he gave him another. We can argue that this isn't a vest for a man at all. It's a woman's underbust corset. Tupac's That's famous bathtub photo though. was photographed by David LaChapelle, who's also a gay man known for taking lesbian and gay photographs. Oh, wow. Why they print, if a man and woman prints? hold hands in the U.S. in public, it is considered to be a sign of intimacy. On the other hand, when two people from the same gender hold hands, like two women or two men, then it is considered to be a sign of lesbianism or homosexuality. Definitely. We found some Tupac pictures after an event, and to my surprise, the cameras caught Tupac and another man sitting inside the car holding hands. Now, I ain't saying the man is this or that, but you have to be the judge. Go back to my last video and look at that picture that I posted. Now, he had his bottoms down and the other guy's stuff were unbuttoned too. And like they were just pulling it up and somebody said, I'm going to take a picture of you and blackmail you because everybody knows Hollywood is, is ran off of blackmail. Like, we'll always have this in the chamber to destroy your career if you ever get foul. If you ever go AWOL. We got you. So, yeah. I don't um, look. Go back and look at it. Check this out, you guys. Have you guys ever seen this? This lady says it happened to her car after it started raining. Now, you can clearly see what appears to be patches of tar but upon further examination they smelled it and it smells like rubber but when you look closer you guys they are bugs have you guys ever seen this check it out so jeff comes in and gets me and he's like jamie come look at this black stuff in the driveway beside your tire and i was like Is something leaking is it asphalt and he sticks his hand down it smells like rubber and he sticks his hand down and that's bugs that is all tiny little bugs and they're moving. Look at that, y'all. All of that is like millions and millions. And it's just on these two tires and different specks in the driveway. What are those little bugs, y'all? Have you guys ever seen that? I've never seen anything like this before. Look at the Me tire. neither. And why are they on the tires? Why are they on the tires? And why so many of them? They're like millions and millions, y'all. And they're on the tires? Does anybody yep. know what those are? And what do they do? What are their special abilities? Because I've never heard of those things before. Now I get... When scientists discover water on the bottom of the ocean this is definitely not the bottom of the ocean because how in the hell do how can they survive that pressure on the bottom of the ocean no That's actually crazy to think about, but it, it threw me off when I saw the duck. When I saw the duck, I knew it was fake. I knew it was fake. I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna leave it here. You don't know what to believe anymore, man. Everything is AI. Everything is a hoax. We don't even know if the shows that we watching are really real anymore. We don't even know if the news broadcast that we are watching is real anymore. One thing we do know is real is this solar eclipse happened on April the 8th. And while all the mysteries that surround it are unknown, one thing we know for sure is that we as a people have to stick together through all of this. 
all the differences, all the disagreements to say that I'm wrong and you're right. None of that matters at this point because we have to see, are we gonna make it through this event, this once in a lifetime event? And blessed are those who have lived over a hundred years and who are able to see it again. I definitely don't think that's possible, but hey, what if? Y'all, we just gotta really open our eyes and, and understand that none of the stuff that we were arguing about before all of this even matters. Whether the earth was round or whether it was flat, none of that matters because we know for sure that this event is happening. Am I saying uh, we all need to get together and sing Kubaya? No, but uh, what I am saying is we all need to go outside and take in what's about to happen. You don't wanna leave this place without not even seeing it at least, right? So I'm just saying y'all, it's time to just cut all the bull crap out, leave it behind. Let's move into Earth's next phase with a positive mindset and with plans to do positive things. And like I always say, do what you will with that information. And hey, if you like what you saw, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you know when I upload. And remember, challenge the argument, not the person. <laughs>